This is Taipei's coolest and most vibrant neighborhood, and in this video, I'm going to show you around. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what I can see. This is the neighborhood of Ximen, just out of Ximen MRT Exit 6. And this has often been referred to as the Harajuku or Shibuya of Taipei and Taiwan because this is like where all the young people come to hang out, to check out their fashion, and it's really just a neat neighborhood. It particularly comes alive at night. If you were here at 10 in the morning, this place would seem really, really boring because nobody's here. These shops, they open late, uh, they, like, they open late in the morning, and then they stay open well late at night, uh, 10, 11, 12, 1. 2 a.m. this neighborhood is still pretty vibrant and uh, particularly this part of it the area outside of exit 6 is the pedestrianized area and so this is really nice because there's no cars going by and you can just explore on foot without having to worry about uh, scooters or things like that they do a good job of actually patrolling those things here and really neat stores here and they've done like cool things like I mean this store uh, Kako has like a screen up there, it's yellow. This one, they've made it look like a, I don't know, an igloo or some rocks. Uh, and so, uh, you know, it's not just a really boring shopping mall. It's really interesting and unlike really no other place in this world that I've walked around. Even though I said it's been compared to Harajuku or Shibuya, uh, Shimen has a definite flair of its own. This is also a really great place if you want to vlog uh, because it's brightly lit here. And so you're trying to take pictures, you're trying to record video. These big lights make it really easy to do that. All right, this is the central hub of the pedestrian area. And uh, over here, there's a tea shop, this boba tea shop. Here, let's come in and take a closer look at this. Uh, this is um, Shinku Tang, and uh, they're making the boba back there here. But I want to show you this is the line. This is the line of people waiting to get this boba. But I think we can go inside and take a look at it in here. Uh, and you can see they've got a machine where they make the boba from the tapioca right here. That's what it starts out as. Uh, and then you can see they cook it up, and they're like, they got all the milk to go with it. It is like quite an operation at this boba tea shop and i will say the boba tea is like pretty good uh their sign says it's the uh best traditional hand stirred brown sugar boba milk tea in taiwan so there you go all right this uh from the central plaza it kind of fingers out into like five different parts of the star so we're gonna walk up and down a few of them but they're all equally brightly lit equally pedestrianized. Uh, here we've got Taiwan's number one nougat um, at uh, Cherry Grandfather, the name of this gift shop right here. Uh, this place has a long line. This is flour rice noodle that there's like all these people out here um, waiting to get some of the flour noodles. We've got a street vendor here selling sweet potato balls. I had some sweet potato balls for lunch and they're pretty good. Uh, this lady is taking out the trash on her um, electric bicycle or scooter. I mean, that's like pretty inventive right there. And you know, if that line at the first tea shop we saw was too long, you will find tons of tea shops walking around here uh, as we go. Um, there's no shortage of tea shops. Soybean pudding is a classic dessert here. I might get some of this a little bit later as I go. And there's also like a lot of different um, alleys on here that you can check out too. Though some of these alleys like this one, uh, they're, not, they're not open late at night. They're maybe uh, just open in the daytime. We've got a stinky tofu restaurant that's up there. We've got some places that sell suits uh, and also it looks like uh, school uniforms. What do we got over here? This place has a long line. Let's get a little bit closer to see what they are selling. Uh, I see uh, this is the Popcorn Chicken King with some music in the background and a whole bunch of like side dishes to go along with your popcorn chicken. 
All right. Uh, I want to pop out here to the street for a second, and then we'll pop back in here to the shops. Um, because what I want to show you, we started the walk uh, over yonder. Um, there's like a big uh, party world. There's like a big uh, like karaoke parlor. This is the one of the main streets in the neighborhood. Big sidewalk out here. And then we're going to pop back in here to look at the shops again. Um, so these shops are kind of like set up where there's the building inside. And then there's a sidewalk. And the shop is like part of the sidewalk too. That's really, I think, part of the appeal. Oh, this looks like this stinky tofu place isn't open right now. What a bummer. All oh, yellow suitcases, two yellow suitcases. They like vibrant colors here in uh, in Taiwan. So uh, I like everybody who likes vibrant colors, particularly yellow. This place is pretty busy too. What's this place serving up? Uh, this place has a glass Noodles. Uh, noodles, 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 beef noodle soup. Uh, definitely one of the specialties of Taiwan. All right, so now we're going down one of the side splinter alleys of uh, Ximen. So this one is not closed off to cars, uh, but this is more like a traditional um, shopping street that you'd see in Taipei, just with more lights, more bright, more excitement, more vibrancy. Uh, down here in Shima. We've got people playing this cool drumming game from Japan. This was pretty popular in Taiwan. Uh, more suits that you could buy. More clothes. You can get a I Heart Taiwan shirt up there. Oh, I smell some more stinky tofu. That's right, and here we go. Here's the stinky tofu uh, stuff. You can smell it like quite a ways away. Uh, oh, and then there's also a nice ice and fruit shop. I'm probably going to actually come back and get that. So I need to remember uh, which little alley this is off of so I can get that. Yeah, so that shave ice or the snow ice is what they call it here, where it's not just ice with the like liquid poured on top, but the actual ice has flavor imbued in it. Uh, we've got some Sanuki udon, Japanese noodle soup right here. You can get a bowl of that for uh, about 200 Taiwanese dollars for the big one. What's that equate to? About $6 US. Pretty reasonable price for a filling bowl of soup. Okay, uh, so we are back on the main drag, as it may be. Um, the boba tea place that I took the detour from was right there. And that is also where the three-story, four-story Kentucky Fried Chicken used to be. It was like a landmark in this neighborhood, but uh, I think the pandemic must have got it. Pandemic didn't get Starbucks coffee. If you're craving your American coffee, you can get it there. I will say, the I think the Starbucks in Taiwan are a lot better than the Starbucks in the mainland of the USA. Uh, I say mainland of the USA, any part of the USA, really, because uh, they've got just much more interesting, unique drinks here, and frankly, better desserts. For lunch today, we had a um, yuzu iced tea uh, and a like, a like a crepe cake. That was good. One of the tea shops I really like is Come By. Um, so you can check that one out if you want one of Chris's favorite teas. And then as we come up over here, we come up to another like main pedestrian circle and you'll often see uh, people like performing in here. So what do we got as a performance today? This looks like a break dancing performance that they're getting ready for. It looks like they're just setting up. And it looks like you got some clowns that were just performing. I don't know. Central Kids Dance Academy is what this says. So I guess you can get your kids to, to learn how to dance. All right, there we go. Maybe they like timeshare this. I'm not sure. All right. But uh, we're not going to, sorry, we're not going to stick around to see the show. That will be a different video. Right here, they're holding a big chicken chop. This is like a big uh, Taiwanese thing. Oh, here, let me, let me show you the chicken chop stall. Uh, it's like, it's been franchised and there's a lot of them. It's this blue stall right here. Hot star large fried chicken where you get this like ginormous 
um, fried chicken chop. You can see he's like, they fry them back up there in the back, make them over here. Um, yes, if you are looking for a meal you can walk with, check out that gigantic chicken chop. You'll, like, you'll know it when you get close because you'll just see a whole bunch of people holding these gigantic pieces of fried chicken. We got a place you can get some hairdressing or a salon up on top. And a whole bunch of kind of like uh, night market outdoor food stalls out here. And uh, this brings us to the uh, one of the ends of Sheeman. There are, you know, many more like avenues to explore on here. But I think for this video, this is where we are going to end the tour. Uh, if your travels bring you to Taipei, Taiwan, definitely check out Ximen. Definitely come at night. I mean, this is like 9 o'clock on a Sunday night. Quite busy. So anytime at night you want to come after the sun is down, that's when Ximen will be waiting for you. Well, fellow explorers, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy some more of my videos right here. Maybe some of my Taipei night market tours or others. You'll find them on the screen. Links also in the description below. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'm going to see you over there.